Welcome to this video on contouring and text wrapping in CorelDRAW. In this tutorial, we will look at a couple of simple text effects. The effects can not only be used to create an attractive poster, as you will see in this tutorial, but also when creating newsletters, brochures, or anywhere else where you want text to wrap around images or require that the text be outlined. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Fountain Fill tool, the Text tool, Text Wrapping, and the Contour tool. Start a new document in CorelDRAW in letter size. Double click the rectangle tool to create a frame around the page. Right click the rectangle and select Object Properties. This will open up the Object Properties Docker. Select Fountain Fill and enable the linear Fountain Fill. To select these specific colors, Click the small triangle to the right of the color swatch, and then click More. In this example, we will use the CMYK palette. Type the name of the color in the Name field. For the first fill color, we'll use Brown, and for the last fill, we'll use a murky green. We can set the fill midpoint to 50 by typing it in the position box or by dragging the slider. And we can set the color progression to minus 135 degrees in the angle value box. Next, import an image or a graphic and place it on the page. With the text tool selected, click on the page and type a word. In this example, we will be using the word hope as the title. Next, set the font. We used Smudger LET, but any sans serif font will give a similar effect. And set its object size to 3.5 by 2 inches. Position 1 inch from the top and 1 inch from the bottom. Select the Contour tool and use the following contour settings. An outside contour, steps equals 2. The contour offset will be 0 0.05. To edit the contours, with the contour group selected, go to Arrange and then select Break Contour Apart. Deselect these elements and select the contour. From the Arrange menu, select the Ungroup All option. Now we can set the color for each of the contours. We'll make the inside contour step white and the outside contour step 70% grey. Select the text and the contours together, and then use the key combination control and the letter G on your keyboard to group the objects. Next, create a paragraph text frame using the text tool. And resize the paragraph text frame to 6.5 by 7.5 inches. In this example, we set the font to Smudger LET and the font size to 9mm. Fill in the paragraph text. In this example, we will be using the poem Hope is a Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson.
By default, the text is left aligned. Change the paragraph text color to white. In this example, the author's name, Emily Dickinson, will be set to the right. To do this, place the cursor before the hyphen or dash and go to the Object Properties. Click on the Paragraph button and then select Align Right. Next, click on the image or graphic. In this example, select the swan on the lower left. In the Object Properties docker, click on the Summary button and then select Contour Straddle Text as the wrapping style with a 0 0.2 wrap offset. Thank you for watching this video on contouring and text wrapping in CorelDRAW.